Hi, Evan Pantazzi. I got a comment uh, by a, a subscriber and uh, it was heartening. I really enjoyed it. It was from Sean Simon. Thanks, Sean. Uh, it, it stated that um, he knows he's uh, saying things over and over again, but he really likes the channel and he believes that this uh, is one of the best uh, martial arts channels on YouTube. And um, one of the reasons might be that we don't uh, do the same old thing. Okay, we're showing you deeper meanings or possibilities that you could do no matter what style you do, whether it's Tai Chi, or Shotokan, etc. Um, the classical bunkai that you see or the typical bunkai that you see in, in actions that you see in the martial arts are fine, okay? Uh, but they're just the same thing we've seen for, for decades, okay? And it's... It's just a superficial understanding of the actions. Say you take a kata like um, Shotokan, and I'll put this this up in this area here so you can see a, a bunkai of uh, kata hangetsu that I'm currently working on, and uh, a correlation between the two bunkais. All right, one is just, um, in my opinion, uh, old, dated, absurd. Okay, and uh, we need to get past this. And the other version you're going to see up in the corner here is a accusurized action. Now, it's actions like these and more realistic scenarios that um, bring people to Kyusho. They're looking for answers and they're looking for adult answers, not this contrived thing, okay, this is what um, was shown to us in traditional martial training as the bunkai of this movement in your kata. All right, and even some of the other um, uh, practitioners that are doing a much better job of conventional uh, bunkai breakdown, okay, are missing a lot of depth, a lot of potential. And uh, that's what people c keep coming here for, is because we're gonna show you how to work with the inner anatomy, that the masters of old um, uh, martial styles uh, documented in their books you have the Bubishi that was a revered martial arts book. Uh, some called it the Bible of Karate. Um, so Karate is based on um, or has this book as a Bible. What's in it? It's the inner uh, anatomy. It's the true workings of the human body. And I'm not talking about the TCM model. Again, I've gone through uh, in numerous videos saying that pressure points and TCM are not the working model. It's hitting the correct anatomical structures, say the nerves, the blood vessels, the, uh, the reactionary or reflexive systems of the body contained in the, the muscles and the tendons. And this is what people are missing. The old founders knew it. They documented it in their book. They wrote about the real ramifications of um, attacking this uh, this target, for example. Um, you have uh, them saying things not like pressure points, all right. And I'll do. I'm going to do another video on why some people thought this was pressure points and why they have to really correct their their thinking. But um, what you need to see is their their notes saying, okay, this is causing neurological shutdown. This is causing um, um, a shock, a hypervolemic shock. These words are modern medical terms, all right? And these are what the old masters from Funakoshi to Mabuni to Miyagi and uh, those that preceded them were talking about documenting in their books, yet most ignore it. And still, with all the preaching that I've done on this, this website and the, the 30 years of um, videos that I've produced, uh, with the subject using their own katas, their own actions, and, and showing these actions and the ramifications on uh, people, all right, they still choose to ignore it. Why? Okay, that's the question I guess we should ask them.
Okay, why are you ignoring this stuff? Uh, or when you um, go to a class or go to uh, a seminar, not disrespectfully, please, but say, okay, is there a deeper anatomical um, meaning or is there a deeper meaning to this? Uh, what about this Q show thing? Okay, what what should be, we be studying with this? The, should we be studying the Q show? Of course, they're going to say, no, it's all bullshit. But um, that right there will tell you, okay, they don't know it. They don't want to know it, okay? Um, so this you really have to think for yourselves on this one, folks. But uh, again, Sean, thanks for the, the great comment. I'm, I'm working hard. I'm trying to do daily videos. Uh, there might be a point where I have to take a break because I'm trying to get my book written. And I'll be honest with you, making these videos uh, is time-consuming, okay? It's fun. I enjoy it. I enjoy uh, helping the, the public see the um, realities of their martial art. And I know I'm not going to make any friends in traditional martial arts over this, but, uh, you know, I have to say what I believe is true. And what I believe is true is Kyusho is the underlying principle of all martial arts, okay? Whether it be Chinese, uh, Okinawan, Japanese, Thai, it doesn't matter. It's all the underlying principles. You're attacking the uh, body's weaker anatomical structures, if you're not attacking the person, your opponent's weaker structures, what the hell are you doing? Okay, you're striking their or attacking their strong structures. Come on. Okay, we got to think uh, practically. And if you're studying an art that does um, uh, like Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, let's go there. All right, Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu is a beautiful art. It's highly workable, highly functional. Uh, the the Gracies have done a great job. They took it to the ring. They showed it, um, and everybody now believes in it. Okay. However, even that system attacks some weaker structures more. Its uh, leverage and um, uh, physics. Okay. What would happen if they had put the Q show into it? And I've I've tried. We've tried uh, introducing this into the Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, and I think I'm just going to have to go. Uh, out on my own and do it uh, uh, for myself so people that are in the the BJJ uh, and it doesn't have to be just be the Gracie style it, it could be all BJJs can see the value of this I know we have a lot of our practitioners our Kyushu practitioners of many different styles that are also doing the um, the, the Jiu Jitsu's uh, and they're seeing the invaluable worth of Kyushu so um, let's get past uh, uh, Thinking that Q-Show is BS, let's get past thinking it's pressure points because, yeah, pressure points and the TCM model, that is BS, okay? Um, it's functional to a certain point, but it is not is not what the old systems were founded on and uh, passed on to by, by the original instructors and founders of those styles. So, hope you enjoyed this film. I hope you got some more thought of it. Sean, thanks again. Um, I really appreciate the comment. Keeps it going. Take care. Yeah.